Marquette's season has been defined by the close game, and Thursday night marked the 19th time the Golden Eagles have had a contest decided by nine points or less this campaign. Unfortunately for Buzz Williams' squad, they head home as the Washington Huskies escape with an 80-78 to victory. We let their pressure uh, force us into things we, we shouldn't have done. And, you know, this time of the year, there are always going to be runs like that, and you have to withstand them. You have to take teams' runs, and you just have to do what we were supposed to do, what we do well, and we didn't do that at all. We let their, their pressure rattle us. The problem with um, playing so many close games is it's real fun when you win them, and it's really, really hard when you lose them. I think that um, for us to have been what we have been through prior to the start of the season, and then for us to have endured what we have endured since the beginning of the Big East season, just to have a chance to be on this stage speaks to the character of those kids. Leading up to his team's date with Washington, Lazar Hayward said that the Huskies feed off of their leader, Quincy Pondexter. With 1.7 seconds left, Pondexter gave his team a plate full of excitement and capped a 15-point comeback. Well, we knew he was going to come out firing. He shot one for seven. In the first half, Jimmy did a great job on him. Jimmy did a great job uh, on him throughout the game. I thought Jimmy did a great job. I, th I thought he was really good all night long on him. Great players make great plays. Um, we just we, we got beat on the second shot, not on the first shot. Marquette had a chance to respond, but Lazar Hayward's shot didn't bring the magic he hoped for. You know, I told Coach was drawing up a play. I'm not sure what he was going to do, but I told him I wanted the ball. Um, I felt, I felt, it felt good coming off my hand. It was just, uh, just a little long, and I felt like, uh, you know, we we, we could have had some some of the March Madness luck, but you know, we didn't. Marquette wasn't supposed to be here. They weren't supposed to recover from a two and five start in conference play. They weren't supposed to win so many close games, but they did. The trouble is, Cinderella ditched blue and gold on Thursday and opted for purple and gold. From the NCAA tournament site here in San Jose, California. Brad Galley, MUTV Sports.